was important to me to involve as many of the people who made Jurassic Park great behind the scenes in this movie as possible. And Jack Horner, he is our resident paleontologist. It's pretty cool being one of the very few people that's been on all four of the Jurassic Park films. He brings the credibility that we need to the story and really makes sure that it's scientifically correct. First of all, thank you so much for joining us again for College Web Media. What are the biggest myths that are associated with dinosaurs and how has Jurassic World addressed that? Well, you know, there's a lot of people that think dinosaurs and people live together. Right. And, and we don't address that in Jurassic Park because we bring them back. Right. <laughs> um, but, you know, when it really comes to the whole notion of dinosaurs, being, you know, running around just trying to eat everything, being, you know, savage-like animals. I mean, that's... So they're not that way. they weren't like that. They were more like birds. I mean, it's like, it's like looking at mammals and birds. And you can have, you know, you can have a, a vicious dog. Right. But have you ever seen a vicious eagle? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I mean, we think of them differently. We evaluate... We, we look at these animals, even though both of them eat meat, we, we, we have this notion of what a vicious animal is like. And dinosaurs, even though they have big mouths and big teeth and, and look like they could be vicious, I think they were much more like birds. Brilliant. Now, you've been on board with the whole franchise from the very beginning. Now, how is your relationship with Steven Spielberg from the very beginning of the first movie and how dinosaurs should should be in a film as opposed to Jurassic World? How has that evolved? Well, um, you know, Steven is the executive producer of Jurassic World. So I've spoken with him a few times about certain aspects of this movie. Mm -hmm. But there was not any, you know, in the first three, in the first two movies when he was director, I was with him. Right as his assistant, basically, answering questions. Um, in Jurassic Park 3, he was a producer, and he would come on set once in a while. On this one, I didn't see him on set, but I wasn't on set very much because there were no animatronics. It was almost all done in computer graphics. Wow. And so, you know, when I went on set this time, I didn't even recognize the equipment they were using. I mean, it was just totally different the way it was shot. Now, dinosaurs have a, a unique way of communicating. Is that right? Well, if they communicate at all, we don't. You know, birds. They, dinosaurs communicated like birds do. Okay. I mean, and that is a unique way of communicating. If you think about it, mm -hmm. because we don't understand it at all. Okay. Right. Right. <laughs> now. How would how is like the I know in this film there's an alpha male in the film. Right. How has that evolved in, in, in terms of you know the whole? Well, you know, basically in this movie, the uh, Chris Pratt character mm -hmm. Owen has has trained these raptors according to the way you would train a mammal. Okay. And so, you know. We don't know if we could have done that or not, but on the other hand, um, we know that dinosaurs were at least as smart as most mammals. Mm -hmm. So there's no reason to think that we couldn't train them. On the other hand, they may have been training us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so a Jurassic World is possible? Well, a Jurassic World is only possible from the aspect of, you know, if you can, if you can actually get a dinosaur back, I mean, the Through whole DNA, notion of cloning yeah. them is what is fictional. But if you had them back, the idea of the new dinosaur, the new hybrid, is very. I mean, that's a viable. That that is a possibility. Great. Right. Now, what are you hoping that Jurassic World will do for the world of science and today's college students to, you know, get them? I hope stimulated. it does the same thing that the first few movies have done. Um, before Jurassic Park came out, I had a few students and they were all guys. Mm. And after Jurassic Park came out, I had a flood of students and they were 50-50 guys and gals. Wow. So it was, 
and it has been that way ever since. And I'm hoping this will revitalize that and the girls will see that, you know, it's a cool thing to be in. <laughs> Great. Thank you so You're much for welcome. your time. Appreciate it. Cheers. You got 20,000 people with nowhere to go. We're going after it with everything we got. We're safe in here, right?